Greetings everyone. This is Sean Van Deveen back with another astrology video for you. It's so wonderful to receive so much love and support from my channel and I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Let's spread love and healing throughout the world. I'm going to be talking about a natal planetary placement nobody alive today has and we'll have to wait until 2044 to witness the first one born with it. Yes, I'm referring to Pluto and Pisces which will begin transiting through the most spiritual sign of the zodiac in 2044 and exit in 2063. The reason for this time length is because Pluto is the furthest planet away from the sun, therefore its effects are generational. The last period Pluto was in Pisces was between 1799 and 1823, when history saw the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte and the French conquest of Europe. The spread of Enlightenment ideals brought the destruction of to archaic aristocratic structures. However, Napoleon's ambitions were too idealistic, leading to his collapse. Many great writers, artists, and musical composers came to prominence during this time. The works of Beethoven and Lord Byron have been inspirational to many and have continued to capture souls all over the world to this day. Figures born with Pluto in Pisces include Abraham Lincoln, Edgar Allan Poe, William Shakespeare, Frederick Chopin, Karl Marx, Florence Nightingale, and Charles Darwin. So, what kind of energies can we expect from Pluto in Pisces? For one thing, in astrology, Pluto represents destruction, violence, transformation, rebirth, and regeneration. It's personified by mass extinction, terrorism, war, dictators, plutocrats, and nuclear weapons. Pisces is the sign of spirituality, mysticism, transcendence, compassion, and universal love. Therefore, these natives can be highly intuitive and compassionate and will feel it in their hearts to heal humanity on a global level. I realize I'm sounding prophetic, but much turbulence will occur when Pluto begins transiting through Aquarius in 2023. The political systems in place right now will become so corrupt that the common man will rise up against the tyranny of the plutocrats ruling our countries and corporations. Revolutions and war will be strife. After Pluto enters Pisces, beginning in 2044 however, an urgent need for healing to the massive suffering on this planet will take place. I expect many spiritual gurus, teachers, and mystics will become prominent. New technologies that will be developed will give rise to new digital artists who will produce great works of art, comparable to that of Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Sandro Botticelli, and Rembrandt. These natives will be blessed with incredible psychic ability and may become shamans. A new universal sense of God will arise, challenging the authority of traditional religions such as Christianity and Islam. Meditation will now be mainstream. Mankind will finally be united in peace and harmony. But of course, there are downsides to every placement, and Pluto in Pisces is no exception. Since Pisces rules drugs, prisons, fantasy, and escapism, these natives may sometimes be oblivious to everyday reality. With such a collective placement, the period from 2044 to 2063 may be when we lose our sense of self at the individual level. The cultural development that occurred in the last Pluto in Pisces transit from 1799 to 1823 introduced ideas not everyone was willing to accept. Although Napoleon wanted to usher in advanced culture, laws and political structures to conquered neighbors, the rest of Europe wasn't ready for them. Aristocracies remained intact well into the 20th century. As well, with the advancement of technology in the next Pluto and Pisces transit, ref refined virtual reality systems and new kinds of narcotics may lead to escapism from everyday reality. By the time Pluto makes its way into Aries, however, we as a whole will be united enough to use our collective sense 
to transform our sense of spirituality to one of survival. We will need the pioneering spirit to colonize other worlds, as by that time, the population of Earth will grow so large to the extent we'll exhaust most of our natural resources. Yes, the next Pluto and Pisces transit will be a period of renewal of planetary healing at the spiritual level. It will be the time when a singular global culture will form. I may or may not be alive by the time it begins, but I will be thankful it arrives after the tumultuous transit of Pluto in Aquarius. So this has been my personal take on Pluto in Pisces. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. This is Sean Vandeveen. I thank you for watching. I wish you peace, much love, and namaste. God bless you, be kind to one another, and spread love and joy to each other. Take care.